We cannot accept intolerance. We cannot accept racism, hatred, and anger, particularly not uh, funded uh, from the government. Uh, and that's why we took action quickly and we'll continue to ensure that this never happens again. Uh, for the next uh, 25 minutes or so, I want to talk about a name that you would not have ever heard in your life <clears throat> if you relied on Trudeau's CBC state broadcaster and their government journalists as your information. And by the way, a lot of people do. There's a lot of parts of this country where the only radio station you can really get is the CBC and where there is no local newspaper. And so the website that is in your community is probably the government news website, the CBC. If the CBC was your window on the world, if that was the only way you could know what was happening, you would not know the name Laith Maroof. It's an unusual name, isn't it? Laith Maroof. Hey, let's go to the cbc.ca search engine. So go to the cbc.ca. You'll see this. This is their search engine. And just type in that unusual last name, Maroof, M-A-R-O-U-F. And I'm going to do it here alongside it in real time. And you'll see the most astonishing thing. There are some hits for the word Maroof. Montreal mansion of Pornhub owner destroyed in criminal fire. I, that's a story from a year and a half ago. Um, Taliban, that's a story from five years ago. Like you see the, all the story 2020, 2013, 2019, 2019, the year 2000, there was a story. So there are, according to my search, there are nine times in the entire digital history of the CBC, nine times the word Maroof. That's a very unusual name, isn't it? Like, it's like Ezra Levant. There's not a lot of, it's not like John Smith. There's only one Ezra Levant. There's only one Laith Maroof that I have ever heard of. Maroof itself is a very rare name. So typing in Maroof would capture it, wouldn't it? The CBC has used the word Maroof nine times in its history but never about Laith Maroof and never in the last month, have they? They just have not. Hey, now I'd like you to do one more thing, Olivia. Go to Google. Just go to Google. Open up a Google page. I'll do it on my computer too. Go to Google and just literally type in the same word, M-A-R-O-U-F. Just touch it. And you see, yeah, just type it. And just hit return. And look at those four things that pop up. National Post, Trudeau reiterates there will be a full review of funding for anti-racism program after Laith Maroof scandal. National Observer, that's a left-wing news site. Justin Trudeau has been weirdly silent about Laith Maroof. Mosaic Magazine, how Canadian anti-racism efforts elevated an anti-Semitic bigot. National Post again, Jamil Giovanni, Trudeau liberals have a pattern of racism much bigger than Laith Maroof. Do you see that gray button that says more news? Click on that. There's a lot of stories. True North, The Guardian. The Guardian is a very left-wing newspaper and from the UK. Canada cuts anti-racism program after lead consultant's vile tweet service. Laith Maroof tweeted a series, blah, 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 blah. Actually, I do see one from the CBC sneaked in there. Consultant Laith Maroof's comments were anti-Semitic and xenophobic. Isn't that funny? Because it doesn't show up on their search engine. This is the only... Exam I, you saw me search on the CBC website. Look at this. They actually had one in, but they blocked it from their own internal website. Isn't that amazing? You cannot search for this story on the CBC website. They are blocking you from finding this on the CBC's own website. That's amazing. I had actually not been able to find a story on the CBC. I just found it now, but not from their own internal engine. So who is Leith Maroof? He's a vicious anti-Semite. He also ha hates the French language. People he hates Quebecers. Quebecois hates them. Uh, hates our soldiers. Hates our way of life. Calls Canada colonizers. He despises our country. So, of course, Justin Trudeau gave him a massive grant to teach anti-racism. Maybe O.J. Simpson will be hired to teach feminism or something or anger management. 
O.J. Simpson was a guy who murdered his wife a few years back. Um, so the CBC has a cone of silence, not only around the story, but around their own website. I'm shocked that you cannot find that story using their own search engine. And I'm sorry that's not an accident. Laith Maroof is a vicious anti-Semite who set up sort of a shell company that not only did Laith Maroof get grants, but his company has and has for years. And by the way, Laith Maroof did anti-racism training, which was actually racism training. He'd been doing it for years, including for journalists, and not a single one of them said, hey, uh, maybe this guy teaching Jew hatred isn't the best use of our tax dollars, let alone anti-racism. But silence, silence, silence from the bosses. But there are a couple of Jews left in the, little, in the liberal party. I don't know what they're doing there. I mean, the party is anti-Israel as they come. But look at this tweet from Anthony house father he's a very irritating liberal mp but he is an mp and he is a jew and he's from montreal and he said this pleased that the contract with cmac that's the company that maruf has has been ended and that cmac needs to account for its hiring of maruf but we need to also ensure that the ministry of canadian heritage accepts accountability we need a thorough review and measures taken to stop this happening again. Now, that's a stunning thing for a sitting liberal MP to say, to criticize his, own, criticize his own government. You can imagine how bad things are within the Liberal Party if Anthony Housefather feels the need to say this, to distance himself, and that he can't get any traction within the party. Michael Levitt is another very interesting tweet. He's a former MP from downtown Toronto, also a Jew. And he said, this, it's actually more incredible than the last. He says, looking back on events over the last week with regards to Maroof affair, I'm utterly disheartened. Taking a stand against anti-Semitism should be given, should be a given. And yet so few of my former liberal colleagues have done so, this truly hurts. Jewish MPs shouldn't be left to call this out alone. That is extremely touching. I've had the opportunity to meet Michael Levitt once or twice, and I disagree with him on a lot of things, but, you know, he's not a bad man. I'm not sure if he was driven out of the Liberal Party, but he left it a few years back. And you can tell that he must be frustrated. Imagine saying, I am deeply disappointed in my former colleagues that they are silent on this explicit anti-Semitism. Gee, I wonder why Michael Levitt isn't being quoted in CBC stories about Maroof. Hey, do you think that if a former prominent MP in the conservative party had dashed and bashed the conservatives. Do you think the CBC would cover that as a news story? Oh, just maybe. Let me show you another prominent Ottawa personage. His name is Michael Geist. He's a law professor at University of Ottawa. Here's what he says. I'm the grandson of Holocaust survivors who thinks it shouldn't be too much to ask the heritage minister to say something, anything, about officials in his department funding an anti-Semite despite multiple warnings. Instead, the parliamentary secretary suggests I'm racist. And scroll down to show what that parliamentary secretary says, Chris Biddle. He's smearing Geist, saying, at this point, you're now deliberately, deliberately misleading your followers. So strange. I'm told you're a respected academic. Why would a respected academic do that? Blinded by hate for Pablo Rodriguez? Is it because the minister responsible looks like this? So, got it, got it, got it. So, Laith Maroof is not the racist. It's because Ahmed Hassan is black. Michael Geist, you see, is the racist. The grandson of Holocaust survivors who says, can we please stop anti-Semitism? He's racist because he says that because, hey, here's a picture of a black guy. 
The parliamentary secretary calls Michael Geist a racist because he's actually against racism. Hey, go to cbc.ca just one more time. I want to I want to see if they covered that Michael Levitt thing. I'm pretty sure they did not. Yeah, so just put that up on the screen and type Michael Levitt, L E V I T T. I think that's how he spells it. And then toggle it by um uh can you sort by date? Cuz this I want to see if there's anything in like the last week or so. Is it possible to sort that by date? Don't think so. Okay, so he, like it's not popping up, right? There's stories from a year ago, from two years ago. Okay, try another way. Go to, I, mean, I won't, listen, the CBC is doing everything in their power to distract from this. Um, so this is a real anti-racism expert. Trudeau just sloshes around the money for this stuff. Um. You know, he's got all these anti-racism experts whose main job is to call people racist for Trudeau. And if you dare criticize Trudeau in, every, in any way, um, they'll just deploy these racism experts and um, poof, you're racist. Oh, hi. That was a clip from our Rebel Daily live stream. It's hosted Monday, Wednesday, and Friday by the big boss man, Ezra Levant, and Tuesdays and Thursdays by me, Sheila Gunn-Reed, and my good friend, David Menzies. On the live stream, we talk about the news of the day, we show some videos, and we interact with our viewers at home. We stream at 12 noon Eastern, 10 Mountain. You can find us on YouTube, Rumble, Super U, and Odyssey.